Hey everyone, it's Will, and I think making oil paintings in Photoshop is a lot of fun. Let's go over how to do a simple version. So get your image on the canvas. I'm doing a landscape, and if I was doing a portrait, I might do a few things differently, but for the most part, the rules are going to be the same. Now I'm going to duplicate my image. We're going to be using the original a little bit later on, but this is also just a good thing to get in the habit of doing so that you always have a reference to the original whenever you're working on something new. Make any corrections to the image before starting, including hiding things you don't want or fixing the lighting, and then go to Filter, Stylize, Oil Paint. Set the stylization to 2.2, Cleanliness to 2.5, Scale to 3, and Bristle Detail to 6.5. Make sure your lighting is turned on too, and set the shine to 0.3 and the angle to whatever works for your image. Now you could stop here, but I want to punch it up a little bit, so I'm going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. Now set the amount to 100, the radius to 8, and reduce noise to 100. I'm also going to remove the Gaussian Blur. The last filter for today is going to be Blur and Surface Blur. Set both of these settings to 10 and confirm. Now I'm starting to really like this image, but the oil paint filter has a habit of muddling some finer details, which isn't always bad, but in this case I think it makes some parts of the piece a little too artificial. So I'm going to make a layer mask, and using my brush tool with my flow set really low, I'm going to carefully hide some of these problem areas, just kind of buff out some details that I want, and since we made a copy of the original, that original part is going to show through where we're drawing. To finish it off, I'm just going to add a gradient map, set the blending mode to overlay, set the color to this nice pastel, just because I think it works with the natural kind of beachy sunlight vibes of this image, and bring the fill down to about 30%. Finally, we're just going to add a very subtle vignette. Add a gradient like this, set it to radial, change the scale to about 300 and hit reverse. Then just set the opacity to somewhere between 20 and 40%, and that's all there is to it. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop, which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.